Hello everybody and welcome to Tree Punch and Brothers Vanilla Minecraft server. My name's Pinter J. Uh, last episode, it wasn't really an episode. We kind of just did a little bit of a Christmas gifting presents to everybody on the server. And we went over to the witch farm and went over to SE Medic's guardian farm. But we didn't really get a very good look at them. So I figured today we would kind of take a look at how I made the witch farm. And then we can go and take a look at how he made the guardian farm over there so let's get up on top of the roof of my corporation here it is nighttime but that shouldn't matter to us where we are going I uh, should be fairly safe from mobs let's get up here on the top and we'll take a little launch from our elytra to save on some rockets and let's uh yeah I do have my elytra on so let's take a little launch over here to the witch farm now I made this fairly close to my base because that's where the hut was and I'm too high in the sky way too high in the sky I don't even know where I am okay there's my base oh there's the witch farm right there okay so I made this pretty close and I decided not to use a portal since most people are using uh, elytras most people on the server have elytras I, we might need to make a portal at some point. Oh, right. Safe landing. Uh, we might need to make a portal, and if we do need to make one, we can make one right here. And then you'll just come out of the portal up to here on the witch farm. But uh, since it is, I'm the only one on the server, this thing works a lot better when uh, I am the only one on because other people in other areas do not have all their caves and everything lit up around them. Which, you know, it's not a huge issue, it's just, it thing works a lot better when I am the only one on. Because I went through and lit up a bunch of the caves around here. I don't know if I got all of them, but I got the majority of them. Because it took me a long time to do that. And hopefully this thing will get going here. I made this really simple. I didn't want to have, like, just a tripwire hook with a bunch of redstone and junk running underneath here. I wanted to keep it as clean and simple as possible. So I just hooked this up to a sticky piston here with a lever on it and then this pushes all the slime blocks down down to redstone block which hits the next sticky piston which pushes all of that down. So we have sort of a slime block uh, ladder going on there and then we have just basic item elevator here down there it, where it is down there I made uh, it. Everything comes into hoppers from both sides of the witch far, where the witches fall in and get wrecked by some guardi or by some uh, iron golems. And then I have them going into hoppers, and then they go into hoppers into the dispenser, which is the dispenser is hooked up to an observer clock, which everything. Uh, then the observer clock uh, sends the redstone pulse. And then it, uh, sh the dispenser shoots everything up into the item elevator. And it doesn't look like we're getting much of anything spawning here. We might have to jump down and take a look at what's going on down there. Now, I notice every once in a while, if you leave this thing running and then go away from the area, it will get stuck. So you just always have to remember to turn this off. Because otherwise, uh, it stops like in the middle. I don't know if it's because the area gets unloaded and then the machine just stops working. Like it stops in the middle of... Uh, then you have to go in and break everything and replace it all and uh, it's kind of a pain so just have to remember to always turn it off if I, I am over here that is the only downside of not having it hooked up to tripwire hooks or pressure plate or something where you have to stand oh there everything's starting to come up now now it should go at a pretty steady rate now that they are spawning. Usually the best place to uh, AFK is like right here. And the nice thing about this is it being all clean and uh, I spawn proofed everything is that you could just stand right here and you don't have to worry about blocking yourself in or being in a little hole or anything. You can just stand right here right above the witch farm and items will just roll in. I hooked this all up to a hopper chain which goes up to an item sorting machine which is pretty basic uh, just your average run-of-the-mill item sorter which uh, goes into all of our chests here now, I think I have a double chest full of sticks already so free sticks for anybody that wants some sticks because I don't know what I'm gonna do with oh we almost have two double chests full of sticks already 
So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I think you can still use these as fuel. So maybe we'll use them just uh, for smelting or something like that. Uh, almost have a double chest full of spider eyes, glass bottles, sugar. And this is uh, rather empty because I took a bunch from here to make all of the rockets for everybody for their Christmas gifts. Let's uh, just fill this up here like a soul. And then we should have, yeah, plenty of glowstone, plenty of redstone. Looks like we, oh, double chest full of redstone already. So we'll get down there. I wanted to make sure that I turn this on, though, because if you don't have it on, sometimes the witches will come at you and uh, they can get out through the one bottom area. I tried blocking off where they can get out, but uh, for some reason it seemed like it jammed up the machine as well. So... Uh, we'll get down there and we'll take a look at how I constructed everything. This is uh, designed by Speedy, and uh, I just used his design with a. I made a couple of modifications to it. Oh, there's there's a bunch of witches, and it doesn't look like it's running. Yeah, it's not running. That's why we're not getting. Why is this not running? Oh, did it get jammed up again? All right, this could be very bad for us. Yeah, it looks like it got jammed up again. Yeah, they're already throwing crap at me. I don't know how it got jammed up. I was the only one on over here. That is working fine. All right, I'm going to have to kill a bunch of these and... Hopefully not die from them. And then we'll have to fix it so that it doesn't get jammed. I'm not sure why it got jammed up because I'm pretty sure I turned it off. Maybe I forgot to turn it off the last time I was over here. That explains why the items weren't flowing in here. But look how many witches are in there. This, this could be bad for us, though. It sounds like... Sounds like they're taking damage from somewhere. Get away from me. Oh, see, they can all get out there. That's the problem. That Alright, we'll have to take care of these guys and then fix it. If uh, I don't die from them, please don't kill me. I just want to fix them. Are they fighting each other? Yeah, fight each other. Stupid witches. Right, let's eat here so I don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Oh, man, that was close. We better hang back here and let them fight each other for a little while. Yeah, yeah. Wreck each other. And then we'll get in there and fix it. Man, these witches are tough, though. Okay, so like they are. It's like a battle royale for witches over there. Okay, one of them's dead. Oh, come on. Oh, are they throwing stuff at me? even hitting? I can't tell if I'm even hitting any of them. Right, okay, we got one of them dead. Would you die already? Ah, these witches are tough. This bow sucks, though, anyway, but... Oh, and then a bunch more of them spawned in there. I gotta get some light in there or something. Would you die already? Die! Stupid witches! Okay, they got another one dead, but of course they're coming out of there now. Alright, she's dead. Right, there's one hanging out there. Oh, crap! Alright, she just got me with slowness. Nope, stay away, stay away. Gotta eat something. Yeah, 
Get out of here, stupid witch. All right, can I get in there before they another one spawns? No, another one spawned already. Oh, creeper, where did he spawn from? Oh, probably because the... No, where did he... Where... There isn't anywhere he could have spawned. Where the heck did he come from? Get out of here, witch. Alright, let's get up in here and fix this thing before we die. Okay, I think I got it fixed, but we're about dead here. So we're going to have to eat. And it is nighttime, and we still have a stray witch outside of here. I still like, can't figure out where that creeper spawned from. And it looks like there's a couple more witches that got out over there. So we'll have to be careful of that. And we'll have to get this block out of here that I placed to get down in there. Get out of here, stupid witch. Oh, how did she get me from way the heck over there? Alright, that was uh, rather stressful, down to like half of a heart, uh, that really sucked. But yeah, I think we have it working again. I'm not sure why it got jammed up this time. I think I placed a block over here, we'll have to get rid of that too. And I don't know where that creeper spawned. Like I don't think there's, because they're not supposed to be able to spawn on redstone. So I'm not really sure where he spawned at. Like he dropped down from right up there. So I'm not really sure where he was able to spawn. But uh, the modification that I had to make over here was right up there you can see like this, uh, this stops just long enough for them to spawn on top of the slime blocks and everything. So I had to put melons, or you could put any immovable block up on top of there. And then I put uh, half slabs up on top of there so that spiders and stuff wouldn't spawn. Because I put the melons down, and then let's see if I have any blocks I can pillar with. Here I have some dark... Pre Actually, let's use the sandstone. So I can get a little better view and hopefully stay out of the rain here. right there but yeah you could see like I put the melons there and then there was a space there where uh, spiders could spawn and so I had to put half slabs in between there so the spiders couldn't spawn let's uh, get some more fish oh I want this fish okay and let's get over here oh took out that uh, I have stone on me. Get in there. Alright, let's uh, go over here and take a look at this. I want to see if I can figure out where that creeper spawned at. Because he was hanging out like right... He dropped down from like right there. Gonna have a little piston lag here. I apologize for that. He dropped down from right there. Is there... Oh, well, there isn't enough... Oh, maybe he could have spawned on that. Yeah, he could have spawned on that watermelon right there. Because that... I bet that's where he spawned at, was on that watermelon there. But I can't put any block there because... But since the thing wasn't working, it was, uh... Yeah, I bet that's where he spawned at, was on that watermelon right there. But I can't put any block there because that interferes with the... So hopefully, I don't know, maybe I did step away from this thing, and that's why it stopped working. Because it seems like the, it works fine unless you, like, go unload the chunk. So maybe that's what happened. So let's get back up on top there. I might have gone back to my bait. What? 
What? I want no, I wanted to be up there. I might have gone back to my base for something and forgot to turn it off. And that's probably more than likely what happened. Because I know that if you don't turn it off, like it stuff will get jammed up in there. So let's get up on top of here again and see if we can get some spawns and how good the spawns are going to be. Okay, it looks like it's flowing pretty well here, as you can see. I had to turn the rain off just so that I... Uh, because you couldn't really see what was going on there with the rain off, and we could even get rid of this too. And as you can see, when I'm the only one on the server, it seems to run fairly well. Like, look at all those. I mean, we get quite a few witches spawning down there. As you... Oh, and it looks like something even popped out of the top. Like, it couldn't keep up with uh, the amount of stuff that was going up on there. So, we might need to take a look at that, too. It looked like a piece of redstone went flying down there. Uh, so, we might need to take a look at that. It might be getting backed up up there. And we might have to come up with a solution for that. But I think we're getting enough items that... We don't need to worry about it. Let's get uh, F1 back here and let's uh, hop up there and take a look at that. No, it seems like everything's fine. That item hopper is fine. Yeah, but look at all this stuff. Just oh, I actually collected the sticks. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want to be collecting this stuff. Let's uh, let's get over here and take a look at and we can get up here on a little bit yeah, it seems like it's keeping up okay uh, like never have this fast of rates when some other people are on anyway so it's not really that big of an issue uh, but yeah that's pretty much the witch farm in its entirety and it seems to be working really well like I said hopefully we'll get our gunpowder built back up here so we have a steady supply of rockets that's really the only reason I made it but uh, obviously the glowstone is really nice and the redstone is really nice as well I don't know what I'll ever do with all these spider eyes and sugar and all of that we might have to open up a potion shop or something but yeah look at how it's flowing now like it's we're getting tons and tons of items now, so it's working pretty well. We're going to have to make sure we remember to turn it off, and hopefully everything will be okay. I will go down there and check it out just to be sure. Obviously, we're not going to hang out any longer than we have to. We can take a look at the observer clock as well. Those items should make it up into the hoppers here. Let's... Uh, Let's take a real quick look at the observer. Oh, there's that piece of redstone. And oh, she got out. How did she get out? All right. Yeah, we're not going to hang out here long. But, yeah, I hooked this up so everything comes and powers that over there and shuts the farm down. Looks like the farm shut down fine in a good spot. And then this comes down and powers this as well. It powers this piston, which goes down and... Uh, unpowers that so that it sets the pulse going and then it's just a simple observer clock it goes into the dispenser like I said but we are gonna want to get away from here because we do not want to get killed by a bunch of witches so let's go take a look at SC medics guardian farm Okay, so we're over here at the Guardian Farm, and there's this nice little enclosure for us so that creepers and other mobs and stuff do not come and blow us up, because there is a... Oh, he's building something else over here. This looks like a, a giant farm of some sort. Uh, looks like plenty of potatoes, and I'm not sure what else he has, but we definitely do not need to use this, because we have... Uh, like he's made a mycelium farm looks like uh, we definitely do not need to use this because we have all of this stuff automated uh, and I wonder what else he has in there carrots maybe or is this just all potatoes no he's got 
carrots and potatoes. Yeah, we definitely do not need to use this because we have plenty of potato and carrot. Uh, so, but yeah, they, over here he's got the guardian farm. We can go over and take a look at that. So I think the way this works is he's got these two water channels that uh, drop the, so you can see we get tons of spawns already. Uh, he's got these two water channels that flow down to the edges. One goes this way and the other one goes that way. And then they spawn in the water channels and then they just get pushed down that way. Like as you can see that guy is going and he's just about to go oh, splat. And uh, yeah, I noticed that they swim against the current for a little bit, but it's usually only like a second or two. Like you can see that guy's spinning against the, or swimming against the current. But uh, after a few seconds, he's just going to go and go splat to uh, maybe he might be stuck on something. Oh, he's swimming up against there. And then there he goes. Yeah, he's going and ploop. But uh, yeah, they, they'll swim against the current for a minute or, or not quite uh, a few seconds. And then they'll it's not very long, not long enough to be that concerned about. Uh, but yeah, it's, he seems like he gets pretty good rates over here. Said he already has a double chest full of um, sea lanterns, so that is pretty cool. So he made this area down here. Uh, this is supposed to represent the Assassin Creed symbol, I believe is what he said. And then uh, he's got all this hooked up down here. The Guardians fall from up there, and then they just land on the hoppers, and then the hopper chain goes over into the chests over here and then you pick up all the items that they drop from yeah looks like he's got tons of prismarine crystals already just I'm sure he cleared this out not too long ago too and then he made a little area down here for storage uh, he had all of this for storage uh, he's got tons of fish that's why we've been eating fish i'm trying to eat it before it spoils and gets all stinky smelling up the server and everything we don't we don't need that yeah he's got a full chest full a full double chest full of sea lanterns we're definitely going to want some of those and then uh looks like he made another area over here for extra storage and looks like books and yeah, it looks like he's going to be doing books and stuff over here. So that is pretty cool. And I'm not sure what he had in the other room over on the other side. But uh, I like the way he lit everything up here with all the pillars and the sea lanterns. That's pretty cool. And then what does he have over here? Like a little armor room? Oh, with some snowmen. He's got like a little armor room, some armor stands. Not sure what is going on in here maybe it has something to do with Assassin's Creed that I am not aware of but yeah this is the Guardian farm it seems to work pretty well as you can tell that not all the caves are lit up around here because I just heard a zombie I might have to go and light up some Ooh, that guy scared me I might have to go and light up some caves around here just so that uh everywhere gets better spawns but I like what he did with the end rods in the floor that's pretty cool how they run along the floor like that that's pretty neat but uh, yeah it seems like he gets pretty good rates over here and I mean we definitely have enough sea lanterns to supply everybody so far so and then up there I think that's just extra area to go and look at stuff but yeah, as you can see, they're dropping down rather rather quickly. And like I said, they swim against the current for a second or two, but then they'll eventually go down that way. But yeah, there's one, two, they're, they're dropped rather frequently. So, But yeah, that's his SE Medic's Guardian Farm. I uh, took a look at the Witch Farm. Next episode, I think I am going to start working on you no know, actually in next episode I think I might go to the end and uh, do a little shulker box hunting now that we have rockets it's easier to fly around in the end 
Uh, I think I might do some shulker box hunting because I'm running a little low on the shulker boxes because I started putting all my stone and cobblestone and stuff like that in boxes just to uh, free up some storage space. So I think I might do that in the next episode. We might go on a little end trip and do some shulker box hunting. But I think that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, please hit a like, hit a subscribe, and I will talk to you in the next episode.